Hey, it's everybody. This is Wost, and we have our Week One matchup in the Elite Eight season, uh, whatever the hell it's called. Um, this is pretty much the PC PWC off-season um, league with eight guys. We have our Week One matchup here against OP Jelson and the Anderson City Agrons. Um, yeah, he has a YouTube channel. His link will the link for his YouTube channel will be down in the description below. Check him out, cool guy. Um, so let's get right into the matchup here. Um, just to go over our team, we have, first up, Donovan rocking uh, the Rocky Helmet with Earthquake. Um, well, I should probably really bring this up so I don't stutter over it the entire fucking time. Give me a second. This is amazing quality shit. <clears throat> okay, we have Rocky Helmet. We have Stealth Rocks, Earthquake, Rapid Spin, and Fire Fang. This thing is just straight up physically defensive. It just it takes on Scizor so well. Um, he really can't do shit to me, and I can easily outpace him 1v1 with Fire Fang and Rocky Helmet. Um, even if he wants to set up, he has to set up to, I think, like, plus four just to outpace me. That's with he has ro That's if he has Roost, which I'm pretty sure he does. I figure he's going to bring more of a offensive utility set with Bullet Punch, U-Turn, Defog, and um, Roost. Because he doesn't really have anything else that um, can really run Defog, I don't think. Um, Braviary. Yeah, he doesn't really have forms of hazard removal other than Defog Manaphy. We also have Lantern, which is specially defensive. Um, uh, straight up max HP, max special defense. Eight investment in uh, special attack. With leftovers, it has T-Wave, Volt Switch, Scald, Thunderbolt. This is pretty much my main way of taking on Kyurem. Kyurem fucks up my team. I, with Donphan, Lando Y, Zygarde, and Tangrowth. It was right there. Really all get fucked up by especially attacking Ice type. And uh, I I really need this thing. I can't take this on. I'm guessing it's going to be Scarf. Um, just for the fact that it's the only way it can really outpace a lot of the shit. If not, I can just take it on very easily. Uh, Scarf is definitely the scarier of sets that Kieran can run against me. We also have x Plowed with the choice specs, uh, Boom Burst. That's pretty much it. Um, there's no reason to run the Flamethrower, Surf, or Shadow Ball, which I have on. But I do anyways, because I'm just going to come in and press Boom Burst every fucking time. Uh, this is a bulky variant, though. I have 248 HP invested in... 248 EVs invested in HP. Uh, max Special Attack, Modest. But yeah, basically, I'm going to try to get this thing in for free whenever I can, and just fucking click Boom Burst and see shit die. That's what's, that's what's going to happen. We also have Lando I, uh, Sand Force. Obviously, we can't run Sheer Force in this league. Um, but he's Choice Scarf with U-Turn, Earthquake, Superpower, and Knock Off. I have enough speed investment to outspeed Kyurem to make sure I can't get fucked up by it. And which is 208 in speed, Jolly. And 252 HP, 252 attack, and then 48 in HP. Uh, just to give it a little, bit, a little bit more extra bulk. Sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, it's things... The fucking monster. He doesn't really have any good switch-ins to it either. I mean, Cofagregus is a decent one, but looking at his team right now, pretty much Scizor, if it's a bulky variant, can take two. Um, Tyran yeah, Terrakion gets uh, one-shotted. Ante gets one-shotted. And I can U-turn out and just get off massive damage if I want against Manaphy and Kyurem. The one thing that is going to be annoying with it, though, is that Cough for Gregus, because it can easily eat up a hit and just will it me in return and just kind of nullify all the offensive power it has. But we also have Mega Diancy here, Rockin', Moonblast, Psychic, HP, Fire, and Rock Polish. Uh, just straight, uh, especially offensive. I do have, I am running Calm on this thing, though. Here's why. If a Scarf Curum, which is the only way you can outspeed me, I can take one Earth Power. And knock it out with Moonblast, which is why I have eight special defense investment just for fun. But it just running calm over um, timid allows me to eat up that one hit, which is what I need. And I have Rock Polish on it because outside of a second, sorry, outside of Scizor, once that thing goes down, I can kind of set up and win with it. Um, Entei, I did not think he was going to bring it. I'll go over that in a second. Um, it can be a little annoying, but I can psychic it. I think it should get two shot it kind of easily. Um, and you can't really do much to be back in return unless he has bulldoze on it. Uh, but yeah, after that, we have Silvari. We are running Fairy this week. 
that is with parting shot uh, multi attack, which will turn into fairy, obviously by holding the fairy memory, um, flamethrower, and I forget my last move. It's not very important though. Uh, toxic. That's right. I'm running specially defensive on it. Um, minus speed nature, so I can get off as slow of parting shots as I can. Um, but this thing, even running special defensive, really does check Terrakion very well. Uh, when I was prepping it, it was only taking... I figured it's either going to be dual scarfed with Curum, or it was going to be like a Continental Crush, maybe whatever. I don't know what other um, Z moves he could run up, but that is his Z-Mon. But yeah, looking at his team, I knew... Kurum, I knew Scizor, Mega Scizor, and I knew Turakion were all coming. For a fact, those ones really can put a hole in my team if played well. Uh, Manaphy, I didn't think it was going to come. I have Lantern. And he has to set up to plus... He has to get at least one tail glow up to even two-shot me. And I can just T-wave it back in return and just bring in anything else to revenge kill of them. Which is why I didn't think it was going to come. It has not the best matchup. Yeah, it does have, you know, it looks good with things like, especially on my team right now, Don Fan, Lando I, and Diancy, but the Lantern pretty much hard walls it every day. Um, Entei, I, it was one of those things that 50 50, um, if you wanted to bring it, he could. It has a decent matchup, but I also have very easy ways of killing it. Being, I can wall it pretty well with Don Fan, I can easily take it out with an earthquake from Lando. And Coffer Gregus, um, I definitely thought something like his um, milk tank and crooked eye were going to come for the fact that I have a Mew. So I figured, oh, no, um, he can try to pursue trap me with crook or milk tank and wall kind of certain mods on my team if I were to brought him pretty easily. But these are the matchups we have. Uh, I can see him leading off with one of a couple things. Sorry. Uh, I can really see him leading off with one of his main offensive threats. So either Mega Scizor, predicting my Mega Diancy lead and trying to take me out right away. Or his Curum just to get off as much damage as he can. Or Terrakion maybe set up Rocks, Focus Sash, and just... I didn't know what... I figured it was going to be one of those three. Um, so I had two options. I could either lead off with Donphan, predicting the Mega Scizor lead. Or I can lead off with Lantern predicting the Curum lead and then switch out accordingly because I would much rather switch in Don Fan or Savali onto either a Mega Scizor or Terrakion than I would having Lantern switch in onto um, Curum because if it is Spectrum like that it's going to get two-shotted so I really need to make sure um, I have that thing alive because I really need to get rid of Curum so I'm just going to lead off with Lantern he's going to lead off with Entei which is great for me because I can just fire off a... I think I just go for Scald. No, I go for Volt Switch here. Predicting him to switch out because that would just make the most sense. Luckily, he goes in the cure. Now, at this point, I have two options. I can either go into Mega Diancy uh, and fire off Moonblast. I will take it out easily, uh, but I might take a, like 96% damage from an Earth Power uh, if it's Scarf, which I would rather not. Or I can just go into X Plowed and get a kill because no matter what he's switching in on this thing, it's getting two shot. Very uh, Scizor might be the only thing, but its special defense is so low and boom blurs, boom burst. Um, from a specs, X Plowed is ridiculous. Um, so he's just gonna fire off an ice beam, and I get rid of one of the biggest offensive threats against my team turn two, which is absolutely amazing because this thing was so scary to prep for for the fact that I I needed to keep Lantern alive. If Lantern dies, I pretty much lose. Savali is okay, but if it's taking damage from a Terrakion, I pretty much am done because I can't... I have to rely on it going down to about 50% and then having a superpower take it out. But yeah, having this thing gone so early is absolutely amazing for me. He's going to bring in Terrakion, which is fair. I guess I'm just going to switch into Savali Fairy eat up any hit and he did 40 percent and i immediately knew that thing was banded so it's easy play here for me i'm just gonna party shot if he wants to stay in i don't care i get a free switch into a my lando eye especially if mine is uh one attacks this is perfect i outspeed i know that for a fact and i can just fire off an earthquake and watch something take a lot of damage excuse me uh, i do unfortunately crit the scissor switch in um 
really didn't matter because all I had to do was switch into Don Fan and just one of you wanted very easily. Yeah, it sucks. Um, but I have such a great counter to it that it really can't do much. I'm just going to switch out, let him bullet punch me, and die due to Rocky Helmet damage, which is exactly what happens, which is fantastic. So I have the my two best ways of, win of winning this game were either Scarf Lando, Rock Polish, Diancy, and their two biggest threats are gone by turn six, which is amazing. So pretty much all I had to watch out for at this point is Terrakion being banded and some shenanigans with something else I'm not expecting or else I'm looking very good at this point. He goes into Manaphy, which is smart. I'm just going to switch right out to Lantern and take nothing due to Water Absorb. At this point, I said, I cannot pace it. He's doing 33%. I'm going to fire off a Thunder Wave right away. Um, and now I'd speed it. And no matter what happens, I can bring in anything else to revenge kill it if this thing gets crit. But I am doing 53% damage to it back, and it's barely doing 35. So I can, like I said, easily outpacing. I have it. We both have leftovers. And it does not matter. I take it out with Lantern, and it's teams. this team's just getting dwindled down very quickly uh, by things that I... Being able to get momentum with Parting Shot and stuff like that is very useful in this scenario because of this fact I can take extra hits and I can get onto favorable matchups for me. Um, he's going to go into Drakion. I'm obviously going to switch out. I'm just going to sack off Savali. Uh, it did what it needed to do. Uh, crit did not matter there. But once again, this just gives me a switch in to Lando Eye and to fire off a Scarf Earthquake because nothing can really be me at this point. Um, like I said, that thing's gone now. So we're down to an Entei and a Cofagragus. Um This thing comes in. I'm like, okay, he's probably going to will list me. I don't want to take that. I'm just going to switch out into Lantern. Explode, sorry. Um, take it because it's the only thing that really doesn't bother me. And he goes for a Trick Room. Okay, now this is a little more difficult to deal with. Um, but I do have Scrappy Explode in here, so I can just straight up fire off a Boom Burst and take this thing pretty much out. Um, I do create him. That actually did matter a little bit um, after the game. He showed me his EV. He EV'd it to live one specs modest. Um, boom burst. Boom burst, yeah. Boom burst. From this thing. Um, which does suck that I crit because I do, at that one point, take it out. Um, it doesn't really matter, though, because it's just going to change differential. Um, thanks to Trick Room, I'm going to outspeed here and just take out Entei very easily. Um, like I said, the only thing I can really see it doing, because if he does take me out, he all he had was Shadow Ball and uh, HP Fighting. Which I figured he, I knew he had Shatter Ball, he had Trick Room, he had Nasty Plot. I wasn't sure what his fourth move was, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't anything that Lantern would get fucked up by. So all I would have had to do there is switch out to Lantern. Um, revenge kill it, because yeah, he can't do shit. He'd only, i looking at the spread then, he could only do about 30% to me. And I had like 50, I think 53% uh, of HP left. So I still had a very good matchup. Um. And then all we really had to do was he was banded, um, Jolly, Max Speed, and Entei. So I could have just gone out into something like, <clears throat> excuse me, um, Dawn Fan and pretty much Revenge Kill this. So the only thing that would have mattered, I think it would have gone down to a 4 0 instead of a 5 0. Uh, the crit does suck, that the fact that it did happen, but ultimately didn't really change the game that much. Uh, so yeah, that's our week one 5 0 win over. The uh, Agarons and OP Jelson. Once again, check out his check out his YouTube channel in the description below. A uh, good game, man. And we'll be back next Wednesday with our Week Two matchup against um, the Fire King and the Victinis. Oh shit, <laughs> I'm a dumbass. Um, what is his name? I play him so Minnesota Victinis. I play him so often. I should really know that. But yeah, uh, peace.